Again. I don't see the device reclosed us from the climate change. He's getting ready to fire again! Oh, you, you little pain! I'll get you! Dude, that was close. Every, you need to be more careful. I guess that means we can go. I guess. Ah. Can't talk to the plane monster like this. Marston, you had a simple task. How did you screw this up? When they cut off my hand, I knew they were nothing to mess with. Now I just didn't want to face them. You were stopped at a simple loss of a hand. I don't know why I thought better of you. I'm sorry, sir, but DJ, I believe he's the one from the prophecy. The one who will find the ring and the Arnsay Chan. I have had it with this prophecy bullcrap! My father just yelled random words on his deathbed! He knew nothing of what I'd become. Yes, sir. I apologize. Get out there and stop those two from traversing the dimensions! Yes, sir. Oh, uh, oh. What is this place? Looks like a hallway. Yeah, I think it is, but... The device is freaking out. There must be some kind of significant power here. Uh, let's... Where does this door lead to? <laughs> Well, we're not gonna do that one again. We almost died. I, I guess. Might as well try this one. That's a hard room. If you're Hillary Clinton on that day, that's a tough room to walk into. Because yeah. everybody knows that you been- That was awkward. Yeah, is there not just a freaking regular room here? That door right there. There's a light coming from the bottom of it. Yeah, it does. It must mean it's real. Rare, probably. Thankfully, this is a bathroom. Yeah. Dude, look at this ring. It has a weird essence to it. It's calling me. You're crazy. Hello, DJ. Thank you for finally finding me. Whoa, what? What happened? The ring, it just spoke, I think. Spoke? You're going insane. He can't hear me. I'm speaking to you telepathically. And before you think I'm some crazy figment of your imagination, hear me out. I can help you. That man following you, the man behind him, the device, any questions you have, I can answer them. Um, okay, but can you put on like a speaker setting or something? What? What are you even talking about? Yes, I can. But if we come into contact with anyone besides you two, I will continue to communicate with you telepathically. Whoa, it did speak. See, I told you. It's gonna take, like, a long time to get used to. I understand that you've been traveling through dimensions at your own whim. Unacceptable. From now on, you will go where I tell you. It doesn't even seem fair. I, I kind of agree with him. Well, maybe if you weren't incompetent with the power you have, I would allow you to decide. I will permit amusement, but not stupidity. We will go places the Plainmeister will have more trouble finding you. Um, yeah, that's another thing. Who is this Plainmeister we keep hearing about? I will explain later. Marston is on his way here. We need to leave.
Sir, they've acquired the ring. Part one of the plan is complete. Sir! Sir! They got away! And you're not gonna like this part at all! What could I possibly hate more than you letting those fools get away? Cut the power ring, sir! You impotent fool! Talk to a determined! Alright, I'm gonna give you a set of instructions. Step one! Go get the suit and bring them back! There's no step two! I'll go get them, sir! <sighs> Man, that never gets old. <laughs> I know. I need to explain what's going on. Tell us. The Plane Meister holds jurisdiction over all dimensional planes. You have violated his laws which he has set over them. He has dispatched his liquidator, a vicious man known as Marson. Now it has been preordained that you would find me. There is an old prophecy in which it is stated that two men, one yielding the sword of Arcania and one who possesses the power to shift through dimensions, would find me and the Sachon to end the Plane Meister's existence. This prophecy is to make right a wrong that was committed at the beginning of the Plane Meister's dominion. Before his arrival on the dimensional stage, people were free to traverse the dimensional planes. At his arrival, he cut off all interdimensional travel, effectively trapping people to their respective dimensions. With this said, I had hoped that you were not the ones of prophecy, but to my chagrin, I have surmised that you are. And until such time that I am proven wrong, we must operate as if it were so. Whoa, we can't just go out and kill an overlord. We just wanted to have fun with the device. Seriously, we are just teenagers. We can't go getting involved in an interdimensional crime scene. That is irrelevant. You are chosen and you will fulfill this. Alright, fine. I'm in. If I die, it's on your conscience. I can live with that, even though my life is also irrelevant. Okay. Okay. It is currently relevant to find the Plane Meister and curry his favor. He knows who you are, but he does not know your face. We will proceed from here to the dimension of the Overlords and locate him. We will gain his trust, okay? Activate the device and we shall proceed. Alright. 